Hello guys, welcome to this video. Microsoft has planned to release their latest version of Visual Studio IDE, which is Visual Studio 2017. And its release candidate is available on their website. So in this video, we are going to see how we can download and install Visual Studio 2017 release candidate. And uh, we will see what are the new things Microsoft is promising to uh, add in the newest version of uh, Visual Studio, right? So it's not officially released, but it's a release candidate. So the changes uh, are expected, but more or less it's going to look like the same. So let's see how we can download and install Microsoft uh, Visual Studio 2017 release candidate. So just open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio. And hopefully the first link which will appear here will be from visualstudio.com. So just uh, open this link which is visualstudio.com and now when you just go a little bit down you will be able to see this Visual Studio uh, 2017 RC version but we want to download and install Visual Studio 2017 RC community version which is free so I'm going to just click uh, this download uh, section once again so just click download here and then just scroll down and here at the bottom you will be able to see uh, these kind of uh, you know installation so I'm going to just uh, go inside this section which says Visual Studio 2017 RC and then here we have uh, different kind of RC versions so first is Visual Studio Community 2017 RC second is Visual Studio Enterprise 2017 RC and other Visual Studio versions of uh, 2017 RC versions. So we want the community version. So I'm going to just uh, download this, which is Visual Studio Community 2017 RC. So let's download it. And it's not a very big file, so it's uh, 877 kilobytes. It will be downloaded really fast. But once you start the installation, it's going to take a long time, right? So once this is downloaded, you just need to uh, click this executable file and then start the installation and I'm going to minimize the browser and the first uh, window which will appear here will be uh, this kind of uh, message which says to learn more privacy, see this one or by continuing you agree to the license terms. So I will just click continue here which is going to start uh, downloading Visual Studio Community Edition and it says give us uh, a minute we will be done soon so I'm going to wait for uh, this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark and then I will continue so now we are in the next step of Visual Studio installation and here we can see uh, lots of options so the change I'm observing here is uh, now they have the workloads so whatever workload you want to install, for example, you just want to install or you want, just want to develop C++, then you can just uh, choose C++ and you can, uh, you know, avoid uh, installing the extra stuff which can come with Visual Studio 2017, which you don't even need. So uh, it's a less workload on your computer while you are installing. And uh, later, you can download and install any of the workloads. So you don't have to worry that uh, if you install any wor one workload right now, then you will not be able to install the other workloads. So these are the main primary wor workload I can see here. First uh, is the Universal Windows Development Framework. Second is the .NET Desktop Development. And third is uh, the Desktop uh, Development for C++. And then we have the web and cloud workloads here also. And then we have the mobile gaming. And at the bottom we have the other tool sets. For example, if you want to develop C++ using your Linux operating system connected to your Linux operating system, you can do it using this workload. So for now, what I'm going to choose here is this workload, which is for C++ and then .NET uh, desktop workload this universal windows uh, platform uh, I'm also going to uh, download and install and on the 
right hand side you will be able to see the installation size right so i have selected three uh, workloads here and i can see the uh, you know disk space is going to take is 10.82 gb so it's going to you know uh, take a lot and lot of time to install so the one thing which hasn't changed i think is the time for the installation right when i just select for example i select only one workload i will be able to see 6 gb for c++ development right so maybe it's going to take hours and hours of uh, time to install so i will uh, just click this install button and i will leave uh, my computer for some time for the installation to happen right because it's going to take a l- i i i am expecting it's going to take around an hour or so okay and if you want uh, more workload you can uh, you know download them later so f- for the first time these three do- uh, workloads right and i'm going to click this install button and now the installation of this workload will start so i will wait for this step to complete and uh, once it's completed we will see uh, what are the next step we need to perform in order to you know start working or using visual studio so now after few hours of waiting the visual studio ide installation is uh, complete and now it says uh, that please restart your computer before you start visual studio so uh, i'm going to press uh, this button which is going to restart the computer and once my computer is restarted then i'm going to relaunch my visual studio ide so let's restart now after restarting my computer i'm going to uh, just open visual studio ide by searching visual studio so let me search visual studio and i can see visual studio 2017 rc version right so i'm going to just open it and it's going to start this visual studio 2017 ide now in the next step i can see that i need to give or log in uh, using my microsoft account so if you already have your microsoft account then you can sign in with uh, your microsoft account or you can uh, you know sign up and then sign in with your microsoft account so i'm going to just click this button sign in and then i'm going to give my email id and password so i have given my email id and now i'm going to give my password and now the visual studio 2017 ide is open so let's try to create some projects so i'm going to go to the files and at the first look it uh, totally looks same as uh, visual studio 2015 or 13 uh, i don't see any um, major difference in the look of ide but let's uh, start and let's create a project right so i'm going to just click file and then new and then i'm going to create a new project and in here i have the option to create a visual c sharp project or visual basic project or visual c++ project or javascript project right so for example uh, let's create a c sharp project and let's say we want to create a windows form app so i'm going to select windows form app and i'm not going to change uh, the project name if you want you can change i am just i just wanted to try it out so just leave it as default and i'm going to click okay and we're just going to create the project uh, it's the same as using previous version of visual studio for example 2015 or 2013 but i think it's a little bit faster than previous versions because uh, earlier it's used to take a little bit more time to create this pro- this kind of project i'm not going to add any uh, specific button you can you know redesign this is just for a trial so i'm j- just going to click the start button which is going to start this uh, project and the project has been started and i can see this form 1 so everything is pretty uh, smooth the one major change i noticed here is uh, the you know installation procedure itself 
now whatever you want you can install as uh, workloads so if you don't need uh, for example visual c plus plus or visual basic then you can opt out and just choose whatever you want to you know use with your visual studio ide but i'm going to explore uh, this visual studio ide for uh, some days and then maybe later i'm going to uh, give you some review about this newer version and what i think about this new version so i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now